Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, last time we were able to successfully quell Cleavor's Frenzy, and only getting ever so slightly sliced a few times in the process, so honestly, overall, a good day's work, and as a result, uh, things are presumably alright now in the Obsidian Field Lens, but looks like that might not be the end of it, because there might be something else going on. As a result, at the end of the last episode, we met up with, I think, someone called Arezu, who's off to see uh, Commander Kamado, and I suppose we should go there too and see what's what. But first, I want to take care of, hopefully, a request that I've been wanting to get finished off for ages involving a certain Buizel. But first, apparently, you have a request. Hiya, uh, Daguerre. Ha! Just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you'd bring me. I've been trying to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your po uh, photo taken with a Pokemon. But no one around here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps they're all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo and it gave me a brilliant idea. Okay, let's have a look at the photo. Oh, okay. That's totally at the Grand Tree Arena, and I think it's safe to say that Pokemon, or shall we say, who's the Pokemon? We all know it's Baneary. <laughs> See how fluffy it is, how adorably soft, how irresistibly, possibly cuddly. Once people see a Pokemon like this in a photo, they'll all want to have their portraits taken together with it. But I need to get a better shot of it than this one. If you find one, could you bring it here? Well, funny you should say that, because I kind of already got the Pokemon that's in the photo. Um, but I guess I need to actually have it with me. Oh, hang on, there's more requests. Hang on, um, well, first of all, let me have a look and... Oh, my God, everyone suddenly got requests all of a sudden. Okay, this might end up being the request episode. Okay, but first of all, let's have a look at this weasel that I caught. Oh, God, which one is it? Because I did rearrange my boxes. Oh, must be... It's one of these ones. Presumably the one in the Great Bull. Two foot... Hang on. It's two... Wait, was it two foot eight you needed? Oh, no! Don't tell me! No! It was... Did you say it was two foot eight you wanted? Oh! Oh! Curse that person! Oh, my God. I am getting so unlucky with these Buizo right now. Anyway, you know what? No point in getting all, like, annoyed by it. Let's actually have a look at some of these requests. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll show me sometime. Okay, you know what? Sure. Um, how about my, um, how about my Quilava? Can I just, yeah, how about my Quilava? My very first Pokemon. What do you think? Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You were, you have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you. The type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Okay, well, that was a nice easy request. Ooh, piece of rare candy. Nice. Well, that was simple. <laughs> Alright, let's do some more requests while we're here. Um, what's up, Wacker? Wow, you're amazing. I want to... Pokemon 2. Well, I didn't want to talk to you, Wacker. I want to talk to Show. That's who I want to talk to. Oh, hey, survey guy. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy team? Um, I don't know. Be super brave? Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the survey corner. Do you think you can give me just five of your Pokeballs? Well, you know what? 
I've got 20 of them. You know what? <laughs> Give me five Pokeballs. All right, you better be grateful for this show. So here you go. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon of my own. Here's a reward just for you. Some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zuzu. She knows all about it. Well, I mean, I kind of already know about it. Ooh, three pieces. Actually, that could be useful. I'm going to practice loads with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokeball and that be a great partner for me, let me know so I can go catch it. Well, I guess it depends what kind of Pokemon you want. So, yeah. Also, let me just double check. Was it 2 foot 8 you after? Because I got a 2 foot 7 Buizo, but if you're going to tell me that's not going to be big enough, you're going to be... You're going to be like an enemy to me. Right, I mean, this is a large one, but unfortunately, apparently it might not be large enough for you. Oh wait, I think it is actually. Wait, what? how big do you want it? I don't know. Look at them side by side. It's almost like the big one is the little one's older sibling. I've, oh, maybe it was two foot seven. For some reason, I thought it said two foot eight, but either way, I know I definitely didn't have any buizo bigger than two foot six up until uh, the end of the last episode, so never mind. Look how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is. Don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different, depending which one's bigger. Keep an eye on Pokemon's sizes when you're catching them might spi spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favour. I know you Survey Corps folk work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Okay, thank God for that. That was big enough. I must have misremembered. I, for some reason I thought it was 2 foot 8, but it must have been 2 foot 7. Because I know, I'm pretty sure I gave you a 2 foot 6 Buizo, but it wasn't good enough. But no, there we go. And as a result, yeah, we got the two of them together. Actually, hang on. Let's have my Buizo join the gang. Here you go. Yeah, look at them. Oh. No? <laughs> Wait, what about the little one? Come on, little one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice. Oh, at least that's finally done. Okay. I don't know, I must have misremembered the height. But either way, that one, that buizer, that big buizer I just gave away. That was easily the largest one I caught, so clearly that was what I needed to do. Anyway, um... I have a few items here, don't I? I've got some experience candy. I might as well... Hmm. Who am I going to give that to? I could give it to Quillava, even though Quillava's already a decent show. I could just give it to Eevee. You know what? I'll give it to Eevee. Eevee leveled up. Not ready to evolve yet, but that's absolutely fine. Anyway, I've got some grit dust, so I might as well keep on giving that to Quillava. So get all of your effort levels to at least level 2. There we go. That's cleared that up. And a piece of red candy, which I'll probably put in the storage for now. Man, all these requests are all of a sudden. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anise from the Medical Corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. The search for bitter leaves. Okay. I think I encountered one when I was in the field, but I think my bag was full, so I couldn't pick it up. But I'll worry about it another time. Anyway, uh, Taggart, what do you have for me? Hey, sport. Interest you in some target practice? All you gotta do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy. Fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, just let me know. I'm usually found in the practice field. Okay. So, another little mini-game. Just like the uh, the balloon-popping one where you ride on Weird Deer. But we'll talk to you in a bit. In the meantime, let's talk to you because everyone's all of a sudden got requests. Now I seem to be uh, proving that I am definitely... Worthy of being in this village. Hey, you're in the Survey Corps, ain't ya? Just the fella I was looking for. I'm working to make these here fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plough, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields mean more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. 
We're all in this together after all, right? So if you have a ground type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Um, I mean, I technically have a ground type Pokemon, I think. Yeah, I got a bunch of Geodude. Uh, I'm not going to give up the Gastrodon. Because I might use it eventually, but I could certainly sacrifice one of my Geodudes. So yeah, you can have a Geodude. Go on. Yeah, Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. <laughs> wow, wait, it's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? Well, I mean, Geodude love to, you know, hide in those, like, rocks where you get the tumble stones. So, I guess they are used to, you know, I suppose in a way, terraforming uh, the terrain and all that. And seems we're done here. What a trooper. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give it a holly if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plant partner. Honestly, that's fine. You can keep the Geo, dude, if you want. More fields available for farming. And you know what? Maybe it's about time I actually started planting some stuff. Apparently, even Pokemon have some flavors they prefer over others, though I suppose that's probably true for all living things. Here to grow some crops. Uh, no way to tell how the yield will be, but we'll give it our all. What kind of harvest? Okay, ooh. Um, you know what? I suppose... Mm, I, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have more apricorn harvests. You know, we'll have more apricorn harvests. For 500 poker dollars. you know, that's fine. Yeah, you know what? Grow some apricorns, why not? But now that you've got a second field, I wonder if I can plant some more, like have different crops and that. I guess not, but you know what, that's fine. We'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. Also, apparently someone had a request here, or was this the guy that... No. No, this is different. Wow, this is actually in someone's house. Hello? I'm coming in. Who is here wanting a request? Hello? Oh, hi. Hi, um, how can I help you? Oh no, it's Anise. Ah, you want to uh, know? Uh, t tell me about this medicinal plant, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, that's indeed who sent me. That'll be our free-leaved little helper then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon. It, it's actually a Pokemon. Okay, that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Okay. Poor Shinon will get quite a shock if she finds out. So, bring it back to me instead, would you? Best to look on your search. Okay, find a Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Mire Lands. Well, we haven't... I don't think we've got access to that yet, but I suspect once we speak to Commander Kamado, we will get access to that. Also, ah, uh, you know what? Let's go and quickly sp speak to that guy and see where we're going to take part in that little game. So, apparently somewhere around here. Let's have a look. Ah, there he is. Alright, so what's this game you've got for me? Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 and be the best of all. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, go on, what are the rules, basically? Burst maze targets, using Pokeballs, we lend you and try to rack up lots of points. Purple target's worth 100, yellow is worth 200. If you burst more than one target with a single throw, you'll net yourself bonus points. If you break a lot of targets, you'll even get an extension tacked onto your time limit. One last thing, the higher the score, the better the prizes you'll win. Okay, sure. So let's aim for 10,000. I don't know with what points I need to get to get some bigger prizes, but you know what? We'll do uh, just that. Okay, nice combo there. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, here we go. Here's a bunch of them. Oh, oh wow. I overshot so much, I actually managed to get uh, quite a bit. Also, I just realised I'm already at 20,000. Oh yeah, I got the yellow one right there. Nice. Oh, here's a nice line. I somehow missed most of them. I suck at throwing. I absolutely suck at throwing. Wow, wow, I really suck at throwing. Well, let's get that 
yellow one. And let's line up. How did I miss that one? Alright, fine. Let's just go over here instead. And go for that one. You're a big one, by the way. So there we go. One, two. I somehow missed the one behind it. How did that not hit? Although, admittedly, I... Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, wow. Um, I kind of burst it with my head. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. I want to get that big one, but let's just grab you. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. I actually missed on that last throw. Um, 61,000 points. Um, I completely smashed your target. You set yourself a record. Well done. Lines just... Uh, prizes lined up to give out to people how well you do. Free scatter bangs. Okay. Okay, so that just sends off the weaker Pokemon. Okay. Well, that's fine. Since you broke through the 10,000 point mark, you get the real prize. Yeah, that was well easy. Ooh, 15 great balls. Ooh, that's a very nice reward. Thank you very much. As well as a nugget. Nice. Uh, the better or the time you better you do, the better the prices I'll hand out. Okay, well, I might do that again at some point, see if I can get higher than 60-odd thousand, but honestly, that's fine. That will do me nicely. Anyway, let's head back into the village, because I believe there was maybe one or two more requests to potentially take on. Uh, in the village. Also, hang on, that is... That one. Find a Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Mylands, but I don't have that Pokemon yet, I don't think. Uh, we've also got that one to bloom or not to bloom. Oh yeah, Cherim. I forgot about that. I really need to get onto that. I also need more logs to make that Pokeshi doll. Uh, although, hang on, I do have the Pokemon in the Woodland photo, so if I... Well, presumably I don't need to get out Boneary right now. I could just go straight to the photo um, studio. So let's just quickly go over there and see what's what. Also, there's another request. I'll get to you in a moment, but first let's head to the photo studio. All right, here we are, photo studio, and I have the Pokemon that you're looking for. About that request you had. I think I got the Pokemon you wanted. Uh, let's see. At least I'm pretty sure I caught one. Wait, did I catch one? Oh no, here it is. <sighs> Bloody hell, I am so blind. There you go. Got it. Wow, I am so blind. <laughs> Admittedly, I've only caught one, which is probably why I didn't immediately notice, but there we go. That is indeed the Pokemon you're after. Oh, it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo. This is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. There we go. It's a Pokemon perfect for photography. I was able to get just the shot I needed, thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. This should go a long way towards getting the other villagers over their fears, and into some photos with Pokemon. And there we go. New option added at the photography studio. Okay, that's fine, I guess. But I'm, but I'm not here to uh, take any more photos right now, although one thing I do want to do is potentially do a bit of shopping. In fact, can I... Well, that's item storage, so let me... I'm just going to store that for now. I don't think I'm going to need that right now. I'm going to store the rare candy. I'm also going to store the wood for now, because I will obviously need the wood at some point. But for now... Um, I'll leave it for now. Uh, we've got a request over there, but I also want to talk to these guys right here. Rare wares, only the best here. Okay, let's see what kind of rare items you got. Uh, this cart sells items you won't find at the general store. Okay. Right, so it's basically just a bunch of berries and medicinal leaks. Basically anything you find on the out in the field, if you can't be bothered to find it yourself. Okay, not in a hurry for that, although while I'm here, I might as well get 10 grand from this nugget. So, nice easy money for me. Uh, but other than that... Wow, I'm up to 48 grand already. That's crazy. Got some great stock in at the moment. Here's all the goods I've got right now. Anything catch my eye? Um, okay, a bunch of sets here. Stealth spray set. Actually, that could be useful. Stealth spray set. All right. Um, sure. I'll take it. 
5. Stealth Sprays. When using in the field, this spray muffles the sound of your footsteps and make wild Pokemon less likely to notice you for a short time. That could be useful. I don't know if I'm going to immediately use it right now, but you know what? That could be useful. Uh, oh, oh dear. Um, something bothering you, Choi? You there. Valued customer. I like how you say that, even though I don't think I've bought anything from you, but never mind. <laughs> Would, wouldn't you rather I have more wares for you to choose from? It would be nice. That would, that it would, unfortunately. Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say. So would you try to persuade him from me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring in some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stalks ought to do it. But I'd make it free to play it safe. Okay. I don't think I've encountered that yet, so presumably... It's probably going to be a bunch of items that I won't start finding until we start getting to the new area. What's it called? The Crimson Mile or something? I can't know what it's called, but it's where one of the Pokemon could be found. But potentially, we might learn more about this from Kamado. Especially now that we're done with the main story with uh, Obsidian Field Lens, but we definitely want to keep coming back there every now and then. Uh... Just in case we want to find some other Pokemon. But in the meantime, let's go speak to Kamado. Let's see what you have for me. And also, what's her name? Ah, so it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adaman or Irida. But this is some this this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arezu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Calibur of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the Wardens, she is the most narrow-minded, <coughs> bound by tradition. <laughs> she likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. Speaker of outsider, what's up? <laughs> I have a new mission for you, Jono. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Okay then. Fair enough. So that means we get to check out a new area. Oh, here we go. The next area we'll be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Well, that's good to know. But might as well tell me what I need to know, Siley. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Salacion Ruins. That is where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. Okay, so head to Salacion Ruins, found in the Crimson Mirelands to meet Calibur. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but looks like there's no more requests. I'm not seeing any random person wanting a request, so you know what? I think this is a good time for us to uh, take our leave and start checking out the Crimson Mirelands. Uh, although while I'm at it, um, what what shops do you what what items do you have? You know, let's have a look and see what items you have. Yeah, you kind of got basic stuff right now, so I don't really need anything right now. Also, as much as obviously I'm wearing the uniform to, as part of my job, is it, maybe it's about time I start buying some new clothes. You know, a special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Oh, okay. Okay. You received the Shaman Fancy Kimono and a pair of Shaman Fancy Bottoms. Right, okay. Interesting. Please take such good... Bleh. I can't speak, speak... Oh my god, I can't speak right now. <laughs> Please take good care of such fine attire. There we go, that's what I tried to say. Uh, anything else? Oh, more parcels. Ah, wait a minute. Is this to do with like some of the Pokemon like save files I have on my Switch? I feel... I think it might be, wouldn't it? So let's uh, talk to you. Okay, now we can buy some clothing if we wanted to. Uh, so we've got a 
maybe we should change our colour of flat cap. Let's have a look. I think it's time for a little bit of a change, but... I mean, at the same time, I want to look, you know... Important, you know. Although, fancy kimono. Oh, that looks so good. It's in the quill, yeah. Go for weird here as well. You know, if I really want to be fancy here. But let's not go for that for now. I've got a couple of festival tops. All right. Uh, what about uh, trousers? Everyday trousers. And also some fancy bottoms. So it can really be to get, like, one with uh, Cyndaquil. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, my. Okay. So a whole bunch of clothing there. What about sandals? Uh, wow, loads of sandals. Oh my, that's lots of sandals. Okay. Uh, okay. So, go for sandals we want. Not really in the mood for sandals, although maybe it's about time I finally got some proper pairs of glasses, you know, seeing as I wear glasses in real life. So, you know what? It's probably time to start rocking a pair of glasses, you know, to make myself look like me. Uh, although I do not wear glasses like that, but you know what? This is ancient time, so I guess we're just going to have to go with it. Um, you know what? Dark Slate. You know what? I think Dark Slate suits me just fine, so we'll put those on. I will start wearing those immediately. Very nice. And actually, while we're at it, let's have a look at some of the clothing I've gotten. Let's have a look. What? Because I think I can change... Clothing. Oh yeah, I had the clothing I first wore. I can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Um, I'll go along with it. I'd say definitely, but in real life, not really. Just give me a nice, comfortable pair of jeans and uh, a t-shirt and a jacket, and that'll do me nicely. Well, I have the duty of making this village more fashionable too. Let's study fashion together, okay? Oh, okay. You're part of the survey corps, please. I ask that you lend me your talent. Oh, okay. I've been told that hippopotas, which can be found around the Crimson Mirelands, have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like I, if I were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Could you show me both a male and female hippopotas? Okay. Also, I must have spoke to you that quickly. I didn't realise that was actually a request. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go change clothing. I want to see what I've actually got. So I've got a festival mask. So, let's have a look. Oh, okay. It's just something like that. Okay. Okay, so we got that. I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to wear that right now. So, we've got... Oh, yeah. Uh, the Shaming Kimono, which is very similar to the bunch of kimonos that I can get. Same with the bottoms there. There's the Casualty. Uh, keep the glasses on... Uh, leave without changing. Because, you know, we've got to be official, you know. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind wearing uh, the kimono set that looks like Cyndaquil. That makes me look, somewhat look like Cyndaquil. Ooh. No, no, no. As I said, I'm not normally the kind of person for fashion, but we'll uh, maybe one day. Hey, at least I'm finally rocking a pair of glasses, you know, like I do in real life. So there we go. At least that's something. Uh, also, hey, I'm seeing you in a little while. Well... Apart from that, the cutscene at the uh, the cafe. How's it going, Akari? Oh, hello, Jono. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now you're here. It must be a sign. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I got a mission, but at the same time, let's go for it. Uh, ooh, let's let's see if you have gotten stronger and closer with your Pikachu. All right, Akari. Let's see how you do it. Oh, actually, you got two Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Starting off with a Mime Junior this time, but I think I might still be pretty good in terms of levels. Okay, level 19. Yeah, so definitely better with the levels here. Oh dear, I'm absolutely destroying that Mime Junior, but what about the Pikachu? Oh, wow, and you get to attack already. Thunder Wave, okay. Well, that's annoying, but considering I was probably about to use a physical attack anyway. Um, the fact that I'm already paralysed is absolutely fine. So, you know what, let's go for Flame Wheel. Of course, I get affected. Come on, Quillava. 
Okay, this Pikachu is really starting to get on my nerves right now. Come on. Oh, come on, Quillava. Snap out of it. Oh, this game is trolling me. Wow, he actually managed to knock out Quillava. That is really annoying. Okay, Pikachu. I'm going to show you no mercy. Unfortunately, I don't really have many Pokemon that's going to be that effective against it. So, Cricket Tune it is then. How about my Alpha Cricket Tune? Yeah, you're going to regret this now, aren't you, Pikachu? That's what this is what you're gonna get for knocking out uh, my uh, my uh, Palava. Also, I know it's not gonna do much damage, but considering Pikachu's practically weak anyway, let's just use Aerial Ace. There we go. Yeah, screw you, Pikachu. Although, admittedly, it has gotten stronger, but yeah, I'm not happy that you managed to knock out my Quillava. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. Whole bunch of level ups there. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. I wouldn't say that. It did not it did actually manage to knock out my Quillava, although that's only because the game kept screwing me over with the fact that uh, I was paralyzed, where it should only have a chance of not making me make my move, so never mind. Anyway, I uh, have the new recipe, so this better be good. Oh, Stealth Sprays. I literally just bought some. Although, I don't think I have any of those items yet. Oh, actually, I might have... Actually, do I have the Bug War Blooms? Don't know. Not sure about the berry, though, so... Honestly, it's fine. I've still got um, some that I bought from that uh, traveling cart anyway, so it's fine. So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. That's another thing I completely forgot about that's in this game. You get areas which might have these distortions. I completely forgot about that. Also, it looks like Quillava's back to full health. Nice. Okay. Now let's go to the... Uh... Now let's finally check out a new area. And yes, there it is. The Crimson Mirelands. Ooh, nice. So, head to the Salacion Ruins, found in the Crimson Mirelands to meet Calibur. Alright, so you know what? Let's head straight to the Crimson Mirelands and finally get to see a new area. Oh, this should be cool. Well, I'll tell you one thing, yeah, the landscape definitely looks a lot more rougher and harsher compared to uh, the Obsidian Fieldlands. But hey, that just means more of a challenge for me. Awesome. Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Mirelands. An area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon. And plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Jono. If you're looking for the Salacion Ruins, they're off that way. I think I can see it right in the distance over there. What looks like a cave. Yep, I see that. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It sure would be handier if my map could tell me. I think it would, actually. Yeah, space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. Ooh, okay. I, don't, I know I need to head to the ruins, but I definitely want to do a little bit of exploring. And see if we can encounter some of these ruins, uh, these uh, distortions. Also, I think the map does show them. I don't know, although there is a request way down there. There's one up here, as well as a whole bunch of lost satchels. So I think we might be doing a little bit of exploring uh, to for the rest of this episode before we uh, carry on. But you know what? It's a new area. It's uh, probably a good idea just to get a, do a little bit of surveying and all that. Hey there. You're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a request for you for some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you can complete Roselia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? Okay, sure. Presumably, we can find them down here. What do you say? The golden... Something or other? Although, I guess 
once we start exploring, we'll know where the places are. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you what. First of all, let's not hop on Weird Deer just yet. I want to do some exploring. Okay, there's a carnivine in the distance. Oh, the Golden Lowlands is literally here. Also, that is totally a budu. And as it is only a budu, surely, surely... Oh, it's fallen asleep. I was going to say, surely a Pokeball will work. But considering you've literally just fallen asleep, I am going to catch you. And just in case that doesn't work, into the tall grass. And also, while I'm at it, Quilava, please, thank you very much. Although, actually, I should use Eevee, actually. I want to train up Eevee a little bit more. Oh, hi. Uh, you didn't see that, did you? You didn't see that? No? No? We're cool? We're cool. Yeah, nice. Also... Hearty grains. Aha, yes, we need some of that for uh, for one of the requests. Uh, anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, I see some Psyduck over there. I think there's another hearty grain right over there. Oh, hi. Um, I didn't even see you, but looks like you don't really care about me, do you? No? No, I don't think it cares about me. It's just, it's just chilling. It's just absolutely chilling. Alright. If you want to chill, you could just chill. That's absolutely fine with me. In the meantime, let's grab Castor Fern. I think that's new. Yep, Castor Fern. Wow, I'm at it. Might as well grab some more paper corns. There we go. Six of them. More Psyduck. Although, I don't think Psyduck are too concerned about me, so I'll just leave them be. Also, something's glowing over there. I'm going to have to check that out. Uh-oh. Hello, Paris. Can I grab this? There we go. There is something... Oh, hello. A Alpha Tangrowth. Okay. There is something glowing there, actually. But, oh, hang on. I think I'm still in pursuit. I think a Pokemon's still in pursuit of me. So, um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to casually wander around. Just have a quick look and see what we have. Although... Actually, now that that uh, Budio is out of the tall grass, I can actually go and have a look and see whether I can actually try and catch you. Although you didn't seem to care that I was around, actually. So you know what? Boom. Right in the back. Hiding in the grass. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, we're making some good progress with the Budio, at least. Okay, more hearty grains, which is nice. Uh, so we've got a carnivine over there. Let me have a quick look at the map. So, can I zoom in a little bit? There we go. So, there was a bit of a cliff, but I'm pretty sure I can go down there regardless. A couple of satchels along the way. So, let's have a quick look around here. Oh, hang on. Uh, whoops. Oops. Get off the thing, because this side duck seems to be... Either having a snooze, or it has a bit of a headache. I kind of feel bad for throwing a Pokeball at its head if it's got a headache, but you know what? What must be done, needs to be done. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Psyduck. You probably had the worst headache ever. I just throw a, I just threw a Pokeball right at your head. Oh, wait a minute. There's a Carnivine, but it looks like it's asleep. All right. Let's sneak up on it. And catch it. You know what? Let's use a heavy ball for you. I suspect a, a Pokeball won't do the job. As I said, heavy balls tend to do a good job if I'm sneaking up on one. So, yeah. And if for some reason that doesn't work. Nice. Carnivine Cord. Lovely. Also, I will talk to you at some point. Although, I don't know if that's actually the person I need to talk to. But, I'll talk to you at some point eventually. Anyway, that's just a side duck. Uh, more Carnivine. Not seeing a Roselia right now, unfortunately, but I'm sure we'll find one of, uh, very soon. Oh, Hoppo Berries! Ah, okay, they're the berries that I need to create the uh, Stealth Spray if I wanted to. Okay, that's just a Cricket Tune, but a bog standard one, so not really interested in that. Grab some more items. I have a feeling I might be starting to run low on item space already, so I'm probably going to have to do some inventory management. But in the meantime, Eevee, you do that. Also, I don't know why that's sparkling, so just to be on the safe side, let's get Buizel ready. 
Oh, Stardust. Oh, nice. Oh, I do not want to mess with that uh, Tangrowth. Yeah, I don't want, don't want to mess with you, Tangrowth. No, no, we don't need to... Also, it's gone really foggy here all of a sudden. What the heck? Wow, it's really foggy down here. Although, hey, if it's actually a bit misty, does that mean you can't really see me? Oh. No, 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 no. You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. I wouldn't mind trying to get close to you, just to see what level you are. Level 45, yeah. Probably don't want to mess with you right now, but I am going to take an iron chunk so I can make some Pokeballs at some point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away. I'm just gonna run away. No need to worry about me, Tangrove. I don't care for you right now. Uh, in the meantime, that's just a Carnivine. Actually, to be honest, it's gonna be a bit awkward to uh, ride around weird here down this part. It's gone very misty. Hey, Psyduck. <laughs> You're just chilling there, buddy. Oh, hi. Oh, Krogunk. Alright, hi. Uh, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. I wouldn't stand in the water if I were you, because you're going against a uh, uh, an electric-type Pokemon who's going to use Thundershock in the water. You somehow managed to avoid the attack. Okay, you little jerk. How are you avoiding the attack? Because... Wait, Crowbunk is... Well, it's part... Fighting and... Poison, I think? Why are you missing it? Alright, fine. Thunder Wave. There we go. Screw you, Krogunk. Oh, and of course you're able to carry on attacking, but when I was battling against Pikachu, I just completely struggled. Alright, in that case, then screw it. I'm going to use Thunder Frank. Oh, wow. <laughs> perfect. Oh, that is just flat out perfect. In fact, I might not even need to use the Great Balls. I think I'm just going to use the... I think I'm just going to use a box out of Pokeball. You're low on health, you're paralysed, this should cap. This sh I should catch you easy. But well, I bet the game screws me over. No, it actually, the game was actually being kind to me. Nice, there we go, Crow Gunk. Oh, uh, apparently uh, someone else is after me. Hello? Psyduck? Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell, Psyduck? God, blimey. Um, hang on. Before you... Potentially attack me. I'm just going to heal up um, Luxio a little bit. There we go. I suppose I should make some uh, more potions, so I'll do that. But okay, if that's what the way you want it, Psyduck. Like, we, you were totally fine with just leaving me alone, but no, you have to be all like. You have to be all bloody uh, brave all of a sudden. I left you alone, Psyduck. And that's the thanks you you I uh, get, is it? Alright, fine. Okay, anyway, that's just a cricket too. Not too interested in you. Although, I suppose I should try and catch you eventually. Just to complete more of the Pokedex. But I don't want to spend too much time doing that. Also, there's a Pokemon there, but I can't quite tell what it is. Oh, it's a Parasect. Okay. Um, okay, okay. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Boom. Level 24 power sack, that's absolutely fine. I would use Aerial Lace, but I have a, a sneaky suspicion that will probably knock out the power sack. Anyway, Venom Shock, that shouldn't do too much against my Cricket Tune, that's fine. Also, we're evenly matched, this is nice. Um, mm, I think a Pokeball won't do the job, so let's use a Great Ball on this Parasect. I wouldn't mind paralyzing you, actually, but I don't really want to bring out Luxray right now. Nice. All right. We got ourselves a Parasect. First one caught. Lovely. Also, I see some... Uh... Uh, Sky Tumble Stone now, so I might as well grab some of that. I know I'm being chased by a Paras, but I'm just going to ignore that fact for the time being. Uh, where'd it go? Oh my, okay, man, you're an aggressive little thing, aren't you? You're a right aggressive thing. Alright, well, I might as well see what's up here. Uh, but so far, oh, what's that? Dash room, but I'm run out of inventory space already, so I think, oh, well, conveniently, here's the camp. 
Here's the camp. Way! I can't go any further. Yeah, that's all right. I just jumped down. I just jumped down here in a dramatic fashion. Well, seeing as I'm here, I might as well craft some more pokeballs. In fact, you know what? I might as well keep on crafting as many great balls as possible with all these iron chunks. Um, you know what? I am still catching a few Pokemon with the Pokeballs, so I might as well craft a few, although I am definitely running out of resources right now, so I'm probably going to have to... Um, probably going to have to um, start looking for some uh, more tumble stones at some point, or, uh, you know, rather than just simply ignore them all the time. I'm definitely needing to stock up on a few of them, but... That's fine. Okay. Well, seeing as I'm here, might as well just rest. We'll just rest a little while. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And I've already sorted my inventory a little bit. Although, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to do too much. Also, I've got enough hearty grace for this uh, person. Uh, whoops. Um, this person I'm looking for. Are you anywhere nearby? Let's have a look. Um, like, where are you exactly? Are you anywhere near here or are you back there? Looks like you are... Yeah, okay, you're back at the main bit. That's absolutely fine. I can take care of that request another time. So, in the meantime, let's just stick with our main mission. And admittedly, I am probably going to have to wrap up this episode soon, but that's okay. I want to do a little bit more exploring, just to see whether we can find any other Pokemon. I know you're there, Carnivine. I'm just going to ignore you for now. I wouldn't mind seeing if I can find a Roselia. Something's there. No, nope, just, just an annoying Paris. Alright, fine. Just an annoying Paris trying to get in my way. Just where were these aggressive Pokemon? I should try and catch you, but you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to defeat you because I kind of want to see what other Pokemon there are, there are around here. Uh, not seeing any others. More Paris, who are, is probably going to get mad at me. Oh, no. There we go. No. That's right. That's right. That's right, Paris. Have I actually caught any? Oh, no. I have caught a few. Number defeated. Number of large specimens caught. Time scene using stun spore. Boom! Oh, don't jump into the Pokeball, mate. Jump into the grass. There we go. Nice. Oh, and it looks like all of a sudden the mist has just dropped. Also, I think I'm being chased by someone. I don't know who, but I'm being chased by someone. Okay, apparently there was a Parasect. Apparently there's a, there's a Parasect. Alright, okay. Yeah, 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 Parasect. Yeah, totally, totally, totally fine and chasing after me. Anyway, some more Stardust. Very nice. Not seeing any of the regular Tumblestone around here, so I'm probably going to have to... Uh, apparently there was something here. Oh, Iron Bark Tongue. Alright. That's new. Uh, also... I'm just going to ignore you, Parasect, because I'm not really in the mood to uh, catch you right now. I'm more interested in trying to find a Roselia, but... Considering uh, we're starting to lose daylight, I suspect we might not be seeing them. I don't know if they come out at night or not, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll grab some more tumblestone while we're here. More items. There's another side duck. You know what? Considering that side duck was trying to be brave. Oh, it's actually falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's just falling asleep. Sweet dreams, Psyduck. There we go. Nice. Okay, I don't want to go that way just yet. I just want to carry on going down here a little bit further. Especially now that the mist has lifted a little bit. I can actually see a little bit better. So, let's just... Uh, well, I'm going to ignore you. I just want to get the tree. I don't care for you, uh, Cricket Tune. Although, it looks like you don't care for me. You just want to see me. You're, you're way braver than the uh, cricket top, so yeah, that's cool. Also, night is rolling in, which I guess is fine. Also, I know, yeah, um, 
no, no, just just ignore me, uh, Tangrove. Just ignore me. I'm just having a little wander around to see what's around here. Again, ignore me. Yeah, ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Totally, totally, totally just ignore me. I'm just wandering around. I'm just having a little wander. Can't, can't a stranger from the space-time rift just have a little wander around instead of getting absolutely, like, destroyed by these Pokemon? Oh, and of course I don't have any space in my satchel again. This is annoying. Oh, also, um, am I still in pursuit? No, I think they gave up on me. But that is a ghastly and haunter. Okay. Uh, haunter over there. Yanna. Wait, wasn't there a couple of satchels nearby? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one nearby. I think there's one up there. I might as well grab at least one of these. In fact, I think I see it. There we go. Got a satchel, and I'm just seeing what else there is around here. Whoa! Whoops. Uh, I'm kind of stuck in here. Whoops. I can't swim. Oh crap. No, nope, we're fine. We're totally fine. It's one of those games where the playable character just doesn't know how to swim. It's GTA Vice City all over again. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm badly hurt right now, so you know what? Might as well just potentially wrap up this episode, as I just noticed it's almost been an hour since I started recording, so... Probably best to wrap up this episode. Um, actually, no one's in pursuit of me, so I'll tell you what, let's... Just go back to the camp from here. Once again, save up some space because my word, I'm constantly running out of space here. Right, anyway, lost and found. So, okay, so. Got a bunch of lost satchels here, but I've got this, so there you go. Get some merit points. But we'll have a whole bunch of them around that I can't get to right now, but that's absolutely fine. In the meantime, I definitely need to save up on space. Also, actually, I do have some Stardust, so, uh, where's the person with the shop? There you go. Hi. Uh, let's do some shopping. But, of course, I just want to sell right now, so I want to sell the two pieces of Stardust. Some quick, easy money. I've got some Grit Dust, so I can easily use that right now. So, whoops, uh, Grit Dust, I'm just going to give that once again to Quilava. Uh, oh, boost up your hit points, that's absolutely fine. And might as well store a bunch of items. To be honest, I don't really need all this Tumblestone right now, because I could just easily craft them at the crafting table. So, let's uh, store that, store that. To be honest, I'm not really using any of these right now, so I might as well just store all of these right now. Same with the bug wart and the vivid chokes, although I'll probably find all these eventually again. But honestly, if I just clear this this space up a little bit, it'll be fine. Uh, I've got, I got some spoiled apricots, uh, apricorns, which I don't really use right now. So I'm just going to put them in the storage for now. Same with the hearty grains. Again, I am probably going to pick up a lot of the items that I just put away. But honestly, might as well just free up some space for the time being and just take it from there. Also, as it's night time, I wonder if we could see some of those wisps anywhere. Um, I know we can see some wisps uh, from that, that mysterious person with the request. So, are you not chasing after me? Okay, alright. Oh, now you're chasing after me. <laughs> it was like, oh, I don't know if I could be bothered to chase you. Uh, actually, I'm not going to chase you. Then all of a sudden, actually, no, I've changed my mind. I do want to chase you. Make your mind up, Ghastly. Although I wouldn't mind trying to catch one, but yeah, sure enough, looks like... Well, the buds you have disappeared, so I'm going to assume... Roselia aren't out right now. But that's absolutely fine. And you know what? I think I need to wrap up this episode because this is starting to uh, get pretty long, this episode. And we might as well wrap this up now. So, we are... Hang on, I'm just going to move the camera because you keep interrupting me, mister. <laughs> right, so, we've got on ourselves a new area to explore, new Pokemon to catch, and also, potentially, uh, more weird goings-on with Pokemon getting frenzied. Apparently, an Ursaluna 
has become frenzied next. So I need to find someone who knows more about that particular Pokemon. So maybe we'll see that person in the next episode. Or maybe I'll inevitably get distracted by uh, exploring this area once again. <laughs> we shall see. But for now, thanks very much for watching everyone. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.